Let's revisit the Zoom F3 field recorder. This is a terrific device, and I think I'm in an authoritative position to say so because I've been using the F3 for a lot of production. I've used it on most of these videos in this last year, and so I've got quite a bit of experience with it, and I really like it a lot. I've used a number of field recorders, and by far, the F3 is the best. And the thing that inspires this video is because I recently saw that the retail price of the F3 has dropped by $50. Now, this is not an inexpensive device, but I think at the original retail price of about $350, it represented good value and it was worth it. And now that the price has dropped by $50 down to just under $300, I think it's even more compelling. So if you're looking for a way to do high quality audio recording in the field or with a small portable recorder, this is well worth your consideration. So I'd like to talk about it a little bit, give you some of my thoughts on how it operates and what's so great about it, and uh, let you know why I'm such a big fan of the Zoom F3. If you're interested in the F3 or anything I'm talking about here, I'll put a link down below so you can check it out. Now, one of the must-have accessories that I use with my F3 is this clamp right here. And this is an inexpensive clamp offered by Small Rig, and I think it's just spectacular. It's uh, very adjustable and allows me to clamp the recorder onto just about anything. I think that's super handy. So let's do a quick look at the F3 and see what it offers. It's a stereo recorder that has two XLR input jacks and these input jacks can be used for line level inputs, microphone level inputs, or microphones that require phantom power. It provides 48 volt phantom power and I believe also some lower voltages as well. Enabling phantom power is going to impact the battery life a little bit but the batteries in the F3 run for quite a while. And if that's not enough, there's a USB connection available on the side of the unit where you can plug in a USB power pack and run for a long period of time. The F3 records onto an SD card, which goes into the side. And I've got 128 gigabytes of SD card in this unit, and that will let me record literally for days. So there's no real hard limit on the recording time. So you could use this to record a concert that goes all night long and still have plenty of recording space left. And with an external battery pack, you should have no problem running for that time period either. The F3 has some really good sounding mic preamps in it. They're very quiet. And so you can get excellent sounding recordings with this small device. And uh, I think it's pretty spectacular how small it is and how effectively it works. Now, the really big plus with the F3 is that it is a 32-bit recorder. And 32-bit audio has tremendous dynamic range. And that fixes a problem that we've had since the beginning of time with recordings. And that is that there's a very, very broad spectrum of loudness from the very quietest sounds in nature to the most loud. And until the 32-bit recorders came out, the recorder could only properly record a fairly narrow spectrum of that audio level range. And so you had to scale the recorder to record whatever it is you're interested in picking up. So if you're trying to record crickets and whispers, you need to crank the gain way up. But then if you hear a loud sound, that would overload the recording system and distort. Or likewise, if you were recording something very loud, like a rock and roll band, then when that subsides and you try to pick up some voices, well, they're going to be way down in the noise of the recorder. Well, with a 32-bit recorder, the recorder itself, the format, has such incredible dynamic range that it can pick up the quietest sounds to the loudest sounds without distortion. And that's really important because one of the biggest problems that we face when recording is unexpectedly loud sounds. 
So you might have an opportunity to record an important interview that you don't have the chance to do over or an important performance that's a once in a lifetime performance. And if something happens during that recording that ends up being louder than you anticipated and you overload the recorder, well, you're going to get a distorted recording and there's almost no coming back from that. You just lose the session. Whereas with a 32-bit recorder, that's something you just don't have to worry about. You do have to set the gain scaling so that what you're recording is in reasonable area for the recorder's gain. And that's really a digital scaling as opposed to how the information is truly stored. So it's still recoverable, but on post-processing, it helps if you get the gain approximately right. But you just have to be approximately right. So if you can see the waveforms on the display here looking nice, you know that you're going to get a good recording. And you don't have to be too concerned about some loud impact sound during your recording session overloading things and spoiling your recording. So 32-bit recorders, absolute game changer. Now the Zoom F3 unit here is a stereo recorder, so you can record two channels. If you need to record more than two channels, Zoom has an eight channel version of the field recorder that's also 32-bit. And there are some other manufacturers such as analog devices who make good 32-bit recorders. And I'm sure that they would work perfectly well as well. A Couple other features in this unit. It has a USB connection on the side, which allows you to transfer your files out of it. So after you record your session onto the memory card, you can just plug in a USB cable, switch the unit over to USB storage mode, and then this looks like a disk drive on your computer, and you can just copy files right from this unit into your computer. I found that the transfer rate off the F3 is not super fast. It's about 10 megabits a second. And so it would be faster to pull the card out of this device and put it into a card reader, which is, of course, another option. But I don't find the transfer speed to really be a huge limitation because audio files, they're not that huge, and it doesn't take that long at any rate. Or you could use that USB connection to use this device as an audio interface on the computer so the computer can play back its audio through this device. I don't use that function since I already have a decent audio interface in my computer. There's all of the usual settings in here for things such as high pass filters on your microphone inputs and um, so forth. But basically it's super easy. It works really well and it's now $50 less than it used to be. So if you're in the need for a portable audio recorder that can record really high fidelity and you don't want to have any worries about losing a recording due to some kind of excessively loud sound popping up during your production. Well, a 32-bit recorder and specifically the Zoom F3 I think would work really well for you. So in conclusion, I've been using the Zoom F3 for quite some time and it works really well for me. It's worked much better than the prior field recorders that I've used. And now that it's $50 less expensive, well, I think it's a compelling buy if you're in the market for a small field recorder and a two-channel recorder will take care of your needs. So give that some consideration if you're looking for a product like that. I just wanted to come back give it my endorsement and let you know that the price has dropped on this unit and it's I think very compelling if you need this sort of thing and once again if you're interested in the recorder or this small rig clamp I'll put those links down below so you can check it out thanks for tuning in and I hope that you have great productions and if you're doing remote recording well that might help